110 kilometers an hour, two lanes each way. Even in the blowing snow on Western Manitoba's Trans-Canada Highway, this is the traffic that passes through the intersection of Highway 5 near Carberry. Much the same now as it was last June, when 17 people, mostly from Dauphin, Manitoba, were killed after the minibus they were traveling in was struck by an oncoming semi-trailer as the bus was trying to cross over the Trans-Canada. You need to put a face to what has happened here. Adrian Zerba's mother, Claudia, was one of those killed. We need to make sure something gets done in that intersection. Now, it's not just the one big collision. Over the last decade, provincial numbers show there have been 29 collisions in that intersection, most of them right angle collisions. Nearly half resulted in injuries or fatalities. We cannot make things right or make you whole, but we are going to work our hardest to ensure that something like this does not happen again. Manitoba's Premier says the intersection will be changed with one of three options, a wider median, giving vehicles trying to cross more room and time. A traffic circle, which would slow traffic on what is a fast stretch of road. Or an R-cut, restricted crossing U-turn intersection. In the U.S., they've been shown to reduce collisions. Instead of crossing over another highway, drivers are forced right into a dedicated U-turn lane and back with the flow of traffic. The province is also promising to help support a memorial in Dauphin, where the mayor says emotions are still raw trying to find that spot in between to be compassionate and caring but to still be able to move on. Zerba says she still can't bring herself to visit the accident site but is reassured by the promise to change it. I'm happy with it. It does give me some peace. Meanwhile the RCMP is still investigating the crash saying they haven't been able to interview the driver of the bus who's still in the hospital. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Dauphin, Manitoba.